Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to make some really funky coasters. So I'm making these out of clay and I first saw the idea from TikTok, a lady on TikTok, and I'll try and link her channel down below because she's made bourbons and custard creams and all sorts of things as well. So we're going to make today a donut and also a jammy dodger. So they're pretty cool, uh, fully functional as a coaster as well. So stick with me and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so we're going to start now with the, the donut. We'll make that first. So I'm just using some of this DAS air drying clay. This is really handy to use because you don't have to mess about with, you know, drying it or popping it in any kind of kiln or anything like that. So I'm going to grab some of the clay and I'm in the kitchen doing this because it just makes it a little bit easier to sort of roll it out. Um, because I'm going to use some corn flour as well and this just stops it sticking. Now I've got one of these um, acrylic type rolling pins as well um, just to make life a little bit easier. So you can obviously make whatever size you want but just grab yourself some clay um, kind of add how much you think give it a little work in your hands and just sort of have a look and see if that's about the size that you need. Get yourself some corn flour. I'm going to do a bit of a dusting on the worktop. It's just like rolling out pastry, I suppose, really. You can pop a bit on the on the rolling pin. I don't do too much. I've probably done a little bit too much there. Um, okay, so I'm just working it in my hands. I've took quite a good sized chunk, really, because I wanted to be quite um, a chunky donut. Um, just roll it out a little bit. But I think the point is not to make it too kind of neat. Um, you just want to sort of shape it with your hands. Because it's going to be a coaster, we obviously need to make sure it's big enough to put um, a cup of tea or some sort of mug on top. Get yourself your little shape around the outside first. Okay, so I've just turned it over and I'm just rolling the other side as well. So this is the bottom. So obviously we want that to be quite, quite flat if we can. And then I'm just going to sort of use my finger and kind of go around the sides like that. Just to sort of give it a rounded edge. So now for the middle bit, I've just got a little, um, something that's got a circle in here. And let me just use this. I'm just going to draw, just mark around it. So I've got some sort of guide to go from. And then I'm just going to get a little tool from craft room and just take out the middle section. Obviously, being a donut with a hole, we need to take that out and just go round. And we can always smooth it when we take it out. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. A little tip when you're using the air dry clay, you always pop it back into an airtight container when you're not using it. So then just get your finger and just sort of smooth the middle. And then that'll be that part of the donut ready. Right, so we're now gonna do a jammy dodger. So I'll grab a bit more of the clay and we'll just do exactly the same thing. Just work it a bit first. We're going to use our little roller to roll it out. And we want to then just use our hands just to make it into a bit of a circle-y kind of shape. I mean, you could make some smaller ones of these. Obviously, if you wanted to do them for just decorations or something, you could um, you could just do them on a smaller scale. Right, the next thing we're going to do is to cut the little heart out of the middle. So in the middle of a jammy dodger, there's um, a heart. So I'm just going to do a heart shape and then we're going to take some of that out so I'm just going to dig down a little deeper now 
we can smooth this off afterwards. We'll just take a bit of this middle out. And then we'll just smooth this heart bit. The next bit we're going to do is the little wiggly bit that comes around the edge. Um, I'm just going to use a little thin tool for this. And I'm just going to sort of mark in, kind of go a little bit kind of in and out, wiggly around the outside like this. And we can neaten all these little bits up afterwards. And the next bit we're going to do is just pop some round little holes, just sort of as we go round like that. No sort of rhyme or reason really, just pop them in. And then after that, we're going to put some sort of like little edgings um, around the biscuit. So if you just sort of hold it up, um, I'm just going to use this bone folder and just sort of, if you can see, go like that, just to get a bit of detail around the edge. And then um, I'll score the bottom of this one. And then once that's done, we'll just let them both dry. It's been a few days now and they've thoroughly dried. What I did was just turn them over and sort of let both sides dry but I think they're fine as they are now so what we're going to do is get some sandpaper and just sand them down any kind of bits that are sticking out if we need to just sort of lightly rub with the sandpaper but we, I do want them to look a little bit kind of uneven and not perfect so I think that will definitely add to it so I'll just run the sandpaper over if I need to especially maybe on that one just make it a little bit smoother and then we'll start painting them so we'll start and do the donut first now if you wanted to you could do like a brown on the bottom and then just sort of a pink glazed over the top but I'm going to do all of mine pink like a sugary pink donut and I'm just using this acrylic paint I bought this from the range actually it's our studio acrylic paint but I think you can use any acrylic paint that you want to I'm just going to pop it in one of these little um plastic containers now I tend to save these I mean I say I tend to save them the kids especially Ebony always says to me mum do you want this for your craft if she's eating a yogurt or a pot and I have so many that she saves and these are quite cool most recently she got some putty that she had to do for um, impressions on her um, retainers and the putty came in these little pots but we thought these were really cute so we washed them and we, we reuse them anyway let's get back to what we're doing Use these um, little pots if you have them, wash them out, use them again. And we are just going to paint all the way over the top with the pink. And I just thought a nice vibrant pink would be pretty good. So I think maybe a couple of coats would be in order. I'm not priming it first. I'm just going straight on with the acrylic paint. So we'll paint all of that and let that dry and then we'll sort of do the the drizzle on the top right so we're going to decorate the donut now and i'm going to do like um a white glaze like um, an icing so i'm going to put some white acrylic paint in a tub and i'm also going to add some pva glue to it just so it sort of makes it a bit thinner So in here, I've put about the same quantity of white acrylic paint as to PVA glue. And that's just going to give us like um, a drizzly kind of effect, hopefully. Um, so I'm just giving that a little mix brown, making sure there's no lumps in there, because um, that's not going to help. So a couple of ways you can do it. You can pop it in to a piping bag if you wanted to, which is probably what I'm going to do. So put yourself a tiny little nick in the end, just as you would do if you were doing um, just normal icing. If you want to make a party ring, then put the icing on a little bit thicker. Maybe use a brush rather than the thinner method for a donut. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to go over the edge because I've got this little bit of plastic down. So it just sort of covers it a little bit. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just like that. Okay, so it just looks like a normal donut. 
We'll start on the Jammy Dodger now. So for this one, I've picked up, these are again from the range, the um, acrylic colour. This is Raw Sienna and also Portrait Pink. Now, I'm not sure if these are going to work. They didn't really have much to choose from, so I kind of had to go on what they had. Um, if we need to mix some other colours in, then we can do that. So we've got kind of different colours we're going to sort of do with it. I'm worried this is going to be a little bit too light. Um, let me pop some on and see. Um, obviously, it needs to be kind of biscuity colour. But I could put a little bit of the raw sienna in as well. But I'm going to sort of not shade it, but I'm going to put some other colours in to hopefully, I don't know, make it look a bit more biscuity. And of course, we need to do down the side. One thing that I did forget to tell you when we were actually making the Jammy Dodger, when you do the side bit, do a little line that goes around the middle so it looks like two biscuits are sandwiched together. Right, so we'll paint this all the way around. Going on quite nicely, actually, this paint. Now what we're going to do is to put some of this darker colour on just to kind of add a little bit of a different effect, really. And I'm going to go round. You see this bit here that's um, cut out? I'm going to just sort of go round a little bit, let's just stuff that on there, with the brush. And if I need to, what I can do is just get my little craft sponge and just sort of blend it out a little bit. But I'm going to see how it goes first with this. So I just went all the way around there and also did a little bit of paint all the way around the edge of the biscuit and then dropped a little bit. Um, little dots in the holes that we made too. Right, so we've done that bit. If you're a better painter than me, which isn't that hard, yours will look a lot better than mine. So uh, it just shows I'm not great at painting, but you can just give it a go. So we're just going to do the red in the middle now because Jammy Dodgers have a red heart in the middle. So I'm just going to paint this and then we're going to let that one dry and seal it. Um, so it's all ready to use. So then we've got that one and I've just gone around the middle, the little sandwichy bit with the two biscuits just to make it look like there's two sandwich sort of sandwiched together there. These are now completely dry. I've left them for a couple of days. What I'm going to do is just go over the top with this here. This is called Triple Thick. I ordered this from Amazon. Um, so I'm probably going to do maybe a couple of coats. So do one, let it dry. And this will give it a nice seal so you can obviously stand your hot cup on it and it will give it a little bit of a glossy look as well. So I think this was just under £10 this pot but you will be able to do obviously other projects with it. Um, so I'm just going to give both of them a couple of layers and then they'll be finished. After they've completely dried, you could also pop some little sticky tabs on the bottom that have got like um, a felt finish just to help protect any worktops. And you can also buy those on Amazon. So there we go. I hope I've inspired you to have a go at maybe doing something different. Um, as I say, check out the links below. I'll pop some Amazon links for um, the products that I use and also the ladies TikTok. But that's it for me. I hope you're keeping safe and well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.